Hello everybody, welcome to the Sims History Channel. I'm pretty excited today because I'm going to actually start playing a sort of let's play of Louis XIV's life instead of just creating 17th century France. The first thing I'm doing here is I've moved Louis's family to a much smaller castle. And that's because when Louis was a little boy, he spent a lot of his time actually in poverty, or what counts as poverty for a medieval, uh, for a 17th century monarch. That meant that when he was a young child, actually, he often was poorly dressed, uh, in dirty clothes, he often had, um, you know, uh, torn sheets, he ran around unsupervised, as did his brother Philip, uh, and just in general, uh, was a uh, fairly neglected. Now, Mazarin did take the uh, time to make sure that Louis had uh, the chance to learn how to do statecraft, how to act as a king, but uh, Louis did not actually um, have very much in the way of formal lessons because the family, uh, well, uh, Mazarin had the household uh, budget and um, he didn't release very much money for the family, so Louis and his family actually didn't have enough money to even get by. Uh, the servants quit all the time. Louis's tutors quit all the time. Um, so th there was no stable adult influence in his life. Let's just follow Louis here. We want to follow Louis. There we go. There was no stable adult influence besides his mom and Mazarin, and the queens of France don't spend any of their time educating kids. Um, so according to Louis, actually, he spent the majority of his time running around, hanging out with his mother's servant's servant's daughter uh, while they're with their kids. And his favorite thing to do besides, you know, doing the kind of athletic stuff he enjoyed was he would follow this one girl around, this one little servant girl around, and act as her page and carry her train and, you know, basically be her servant uh, as a game. And then he and Philippe, here's little Philippe here, here's Louis, he and Philippe would uh, run and hide and sneak their meals and go off to eat on their own. And just in general, ran around mostly unsupervised. So unsupervised, in fact, that Louis once almost drowned uh, because when he fell into some water, there was into a lake, there was nobody to rescue him. Really? Is that what's going on? Kate Louie either, but you see he's getting along pretty well. Uh, what we're going to do is just follow Louie around and uh, kind of try to recreate his life. So, ooh, it looks like already he and Philippe are wandering off alone. That's pretty cool. And what are they planning to do? <laughs> That's so awesome. They're planning to grab a sneak meal, just like I just told you that, that uh, they normally did. That's pretty cute. Um, hooray for me. Uh, it's not that Anne uh, and Mazarin didn't really want to do decent parenting. I mean, it's not really jo Mazarin's job to have done parenting. Uh, Anne spent most of her parenting efforts on teaching the boys... Hmm. Uh, religion, you know, basically telling them how to be good people. And that, uh, you know, seems to have rubbed off on Louis to the extent that he was uh, a pretty consistent churchgoer in his life. But, uh, you know, if you're a royal me member of the royal family, it's not your parents that educate you, right? There's servants for that. And unfortunately, uh, the, the uh, servants that Louis worked with just did not have very much time for him. Now, let's see what he's... Now, why did Philippe abandon him? And what's Philippe doing? Uh, but you see that we are in a different place than we were before. I've moved them into an even uh, poorer castle. Um, it has one big grand room. This is the Great Hall, which is quite medieval in style. Yes, it has one big grand room for receiving... Uh, the nobility and having feasts. You'll notice I've included some of the favorite expensive toys of the 17th century. 
fancy clocks and uh, we've got a bunch of tapestries on the wall because that's what medieval people used to organ to uh, uh, decorate with and then because this is a royal household we also have weaponry all over the wall uh, this is actually the great halls of uh, european nobility and of european royals were actually also their armories so you need to have weapons there that you can use, but you also keep there the weapons that you have captured from your enemies. It's, uh, you know, it's a whole medieval bragging pride thing. Oh, what's he doing with Anne? Just chatting. Okay. Now see, Louis doesn't need to clean up after himself because there's servants. Oh, and there he goes. We're going to not watch him pee because that's kind of creepy. But Anne is up, so we'll see what Anne is doing. Oh, well, she's not going to be up for long. She's planning to go to bed. And you'll notice that this, again, this pretty house is not one that I built. I did decorate it, um, but I'll put the name of the actual builder there soon. Oh, Anne, you are not in the right bed. You have a bed of your very own. Excuse me while I assign bed Anne her own bed. Take a moment here. And you need to claim that bed. And Mazarin, are you in that bed? No, Mazarin, that is not your bed. Oh, actually, that's fine. And is no, no. Are we going to? Okay. And is that little Philippe's? Oh, Philippe's. That's the good. That's a good bed for Philippe. I forgot to have the kids claim their own beds. And then Mazarin. And where's Anne? Mazarin, you can claim this bed. And then Anne can have this bed. And Mazarin, you have to get out of that bed. Okay, back to Louis, who I assume is now done peeing. Hmm, I seem to have some undecorated space here. We'll take care of that a little bit later. And so what's Louis doing? Hmm. Just drinking and chatting with his brother. You can see that I've got them in less fancy clothes now. Uh, Mazarin always made sure that Louis had good clothes for formal events, um, but apparently the boys ran around in uh, uh, pretty messy clothing most of the time. And you can see that it's apparently not making them at all miserable. Oh, look! Haiju Sanders and Gunther Munch got married. Hmm. I don't think I play either of them. They must they must be uh they're not uh, sims that I've dressed and they're not sims that I've played. Oh yeah, I have the MC command uh CC, the MC command mod in here so it allows story progression when I'm not doing anything. That way, if I'm playing with the peasants or I'm playing with Louis, time continues to march on. Right? Louis, what you doing? Oh, okay. Uh, yes, I have these spinning wheels uh, put in because they look so much like real spinning wheels, but I'm going to take them out right now because they actually, these they look great, don't they? But they're actually, um, they're by Sursley Sims. They're actually like little mock computers. I mean, I love this detail. I had to show them to you. But of course, they provide too much entertainment, so I'm going to have to turn them off. And... <sighs> Excuse me while I slowly, slowly go into build mode. It takes forever because I have almost nine gigabytes of CC in here. So when you see this on the computer screen, I'm either going to skip off. Okay, we're back. What you doing, Louie? Well, you know, it is quite late at night. You probably should be doing something, you know, like going to bed. Yes. And what is Bazarin doing? Okay, he's eating. Jean Didier? Okay, it is in the wee hours of the morning. And it is getting close to time for the servants to wake up and take care of everybody. Louis so tired. Aww. And uncomfortable. Why is he... Oh. From low energy, he's uncomfortable. And what is Philippe doing? My little Philippe. Okay, stretching. Well, you can't take a mud bath. Oh, I did give you guys a, f 
shower. Hold on about that. I think I need to do that. <laughs> yes, they will need a shower in order to um, bathe. I did give them a toilet, but I forgot about the shower. Of course, real 17th century Sims or real 17th century people would not need a shower because they would not be taking showers. That's just gross. Um, but, you know, I mean, that's they, they, would, it, they would have considered it to be gross and dangerous. Have I got the bathroom made in here? Let's just take a little look. I thought I made one yesterday for them. There's their tiny toilet. Yes, there's their tiny toilet. Let's get them also a tiny, tiny shower. Just put a little window in there so we can actually see what's going on. Because <laughs> we're obviously not going to be watching them inside the room. There's not enough room for the camera to get in there. And this, of course, is totally not period. This is just for our amusement. Let's see, how can we make sure that we're going to be able... Oh, no, 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 I want that there. Oh, oh, we already got a window in there. Can you see? No. I suppose when we put the walls down, we can see them. But I find it more amusing to watch them through the window. Anyway. <clears throat> no wonder they all felt dirty. <laughs> it's early in the morning. I think, Philippe, that you should go to bed. Really? You're a young boy. You should go to bed. I feel like I ought to, you know, make sure that you get taken care of in this manner. Where's his bed? All the way up here. There we go. Okay, you can sleep right there. Mazarin, you really should be taking better care of a boy. But apparently eating your BLT sandwich is more important. Mmm... This little outfit of Mazarin's, by the way, is just my quick recolor of Oz and Tazzy's Duchess and Pop Star uh, CC. <laughs> yes, Jules, I know that you feel... Oh, good. DDA is up, as all good servants should be, up early in the morning. And yes, you should get something to eat really quickly, because soon you're going to have to call all the other Sims to order. Come on, finish it up. Get yourself feeling good because, all right, we're going to start the servants club now. That's right. Change into your outfit every day one. That's right. Go ahead, my little servants. Start taking care of that royal family. They're doing what they're supposed to do. They're cooking. They're learning. They're doing what I told them to do, told them to do while they're being servants. I don't see them cleaning up, though. Well, we'll see. The royal family obviously has more needs than just food. And Bazarin, what are you doing? Ah, uh, learning statecraft. At least this is what I'm going to pretend is learning statecraft. That's why this table, table is here, so that he can play chess and teach Louis, quote-unquote, statecraft by using it. And he does seem to enjoy playing chess. Wow. Oh, and Anne is up. Good, good. Oh, you know what? I didn't get Anne a place to meditate, and she needs that. Let's see, where will I put the meditation stools? Not over there, that's the entryway to the palace. Not over here, this is where the boys are going to be all rambunctious. It's got to be indoors, though. So, perhaps, I think it's got to be over here. A little bit more building, sorry. Anyway, what is this going on here? Why does that structure 
Look like that. Oh, I see. It's an oversight on the part of yours truly. Let's pretend that never happened. So we need the, uh, what about the meditation stool. So that Anne can meditation. Yes, meditation stool. So that Anne can meditate. And of course, there's not enough room here in this castle. But we'll go with the walls up view, and we'll put this over a little bit. And destroy some of the integrity of the original builder's work. Sorry about that. But Anne has got to meditate, right? She was very pious, and she needs a space for that. Let's get her across. We want the so called Christianity cross, not the Celtic cross. Cross, yes. This is the one. Excellent. Is that, oh, no, wait. I want one that needs to be actually put its own space on the wall. And then I want a little icon, a little wall icon from Zeparinka. We've already got. Let's go with this one. <laughs> There's a good spot for it. That's actually a better spot for the cross, too. All right. Let's go back. All right. And what are you doing? You can eat. We'll just go back to the servants' gathering. Oh, I thought I couldn't have two gatherings going on, but apparently I can. Apparently the servants can gather at the same time. Cool. Do I have any way for them to clean stuff up? Oh, I don't think I do. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Foolish me. clean things up. Hmm. You might need a sink, too, huh? Yes, you are going to need a sink. Purses. I'm so improperly prepared. Eek. Okay. Oh, the ruin pump water sink. That is so awesome. I forgot that I found that. That is even better. It's even better than this. There we go. The ruin pump water sink. That is my artwee. You, you can find that uh, You can find that on Mod The Sims, by the way. That is just so awesome. Look at that. He can now... Wash hands, brush teeth, everything in the one water source, just as if he was actually at a poorly maintained castle. That's perfect. And why are you talking to the servants? Don't I have talk to the royalty be, uh, be friendly with the royalty would be forbidden? Oh, I guess not. Wow, the boys seem to be keeping the most bizarre hours. I think it's time for Louis, actually, to start his own faction meeting and go gather at the Solar Flare. But in the meantime, we're going to end this little Let's Play right here. And next time, we'll have Louis playing with his little friends. Bye!